So when I, uh, my aunt and uncle are architects in India, so I always kind of knew what architecture was and was exposed to it in a sense. Um, but of course, didn't know like the details of it or I just kind of knew that it existed. Um, I'd always been really interested in like designing things and then I had this fascination with inventing things. Uh, my mom had mentioned, oh, like maybe you should be an architect like your aunt and uncle. And so that was like the official seed, or I guess the seed getting watered, where I kind of decided that I did want to be an architect. And so I grew up dancing. Um, I learned a classical Indian dance called Bharatanatyam. So I've been doing that since a very, very young age. Um, and I don't think that like it not, doesn't necessarily directly relate to architecture, um, but I do think it is a form of creative expression, um, which is uh, architecture is also kind of a form of creative expression. Um, and so in that sense, they are, the two are a little bit related. And Every day is really different um, at my job. Um, and that's partly what I really like about it is the variety that we get. Um, so each design phase of a project is um, wildly different. Um, for example, uh, during design development, you're doing a lot of drawings and detailing and things like that. Um, but in construction administration, which is the phase that I'm currently working on in my project, it is very, very different. And we're doing a lot of documentation and making sure that things are getting built correctly and reviewing a lot of things. I think, well, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm in this industry, so I think there's a lot of pros. <laughs> um, I really enjoy working in architecture because you get to create something um, and get to eventually like see it actually built and being used by people and creating these experience for experiences for people um, is really rewarding and I think can make an impact on everyday lives. At the end of the day, we are designing for a client. Um, it's not a personal project. Um, so sometimes things that we may um, hope for in a, in a project um, may not be there in the final version um, just because of like logistics or because of what the client needs and wants. Um, and But in the end of the day, it all comes together and... Um, so in uh, my summer between 11th and 12th grade, I did the summer architecture program at the University of Oregon. Um, during that program, I met other students who were hoping to be architects as well, and they introduced me to the ACE Mentorship Program, um, which stands for Architecture, Construction, and Engineering, um, which is also a really great program for anyone thinking about going into that industry. So I did that program in 12th grade. Um, and so I ended up going to the University of Oregon and um, I developed an interest in sustainability. So I tried taking lots of classes um, that were um, focused in that. And um, that also led me to get uh, my passive house certification. Going into like actual professional things and internships, um, my, I, I started trying to pursue those after my second year of college. Um, so my first one um, was a, it was a mass timber internship at Oregon State University. Um, then the following summer um, between my uh, fourth and fifth year of college, um, I interned at McKenzie Architects in Portland. And um, that was my first like real architecture firm experience. And In terms of skills, I think um, being a hard worker um, and being curious are extremely important um, for architecture and architecture school. Doing some kind of summer architecture program is really helpful if that's something that you can have access to. Um, and same with the ACE mentorship program. Um, I think both of those are really helpful in um, kind of getting a sense of what architecture actually looks like in school and then beyond in professional working life. A master's is nice, if you, especially if you want to specialize in something, but is not 
a requirement, especially if you're still trying to figure out what kind of project types you want to do or what you might want to specialize in. It's not as big of a requirement um, if you have a bachelor's in architecture.